We're now going to build a really nice looking progress bar. So we'll go ahead and write the markup. We'll head back over to our style sheet and we'll start to actually create this. And then we'll look at animating the um, bar fill just to with CSS uh, width, just so we can see how this starts to look when we eventually control this with JavaScript. So we're going to need a container for our bar. Let's go ahead and give this uh, a class of bar. And inside of here, we need something that's going to hold the bar fill. Now, this is going to be styled to have like a gray background. And then we're going to go ahead and include a span in here. And that's going to actually hold the fill. So I'm going to call that bar fill. So I'm going to go ahead and inside of here, give bar fill text in another span. Let's create that span and then go ahead and add that class attribute. So I'm going to call this bar fill text Now that's because we need to separate this further we're going to give this a little bit of a margin so it doesn't stick to the edges of the fill so let's go ahead and start to style this at the moment you can imagine you won't see anything because we've just created a div with a couple of spans in let's go over to global.css and start to style this out so we're going to go ahead and target the bar class and we're going to give this a width of hundred percent we just want this to be hundred percent of the container that it's currently in and we're going to go ahead and also go ahead and give this a background, like I said, of something like a dark gray or a sort of light gray. So let's go ahead and give this a padding of three pixels. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. You can't really see much at the moment. It's very, very, very faintly there. So now we will go ahead and add a margin bottom on this just so the rest of the content underneath stays out of the way. And let's create a box shadow here just so we can start to see how this is looking so i'm going to go ahead and have this inset um, zero and one pixel with the offset and three pixel with a spread and i'm going to go and use the rgba function and do a black with a point to opacity now let's go ahead and preview what this looks like and we can start to see it's like an indented if i just go ahead and uh, zoom in you can see it's like an indented bar, which is exactly the look we're going for. So now I've got a couple of things I want to do. I want to give this a border radius just to smooth out the edges. So I'll do that at three pixels. And I also want the box sizing to be border box. Now we can also go ahead and include the uh, vendor prefixes like WebKit and Moz, but I'm going to leave them out for now. I'll leave that up to you to make this compatible with uh, whichever browsers you're going to be targeting. So now we're going to create the fill inside of the bar. So let's create that uh, class there. And we're going to go ahead and give this a height of 20 pixels. Let's go ahead and check out how that looks. Okay, so nothing's happened at the moment because we need to go ahead and say display block. Now the reason we need to do this is because at the moment span is an inline display by default. Let's give this a background of cornflower blue, so a nice blue color. And let's also give this a width of zero. And we'll give this a border radius as well. And we'll say three pixels just to be consistent with its container. So you can't see anything at the moment because we need to change the width of this to be able to actually see um, anything look, start, start to look nice. So let's go ahead and change the width of this. So I'm gonna set the width to 50 so you can now see we've got this nice blue progress bar effect inside its indented container. Now let's go ahead and make this look a little bit more interesting when the progress goes up. Because remember, we're going to be controlling this with JavaScript. So we're going to go ahead and give this a transition. So I'm going to say transition width, and I'm going to give this a 0.8 second delay, and I want that to ease in. Again, you may want to go ahead and use WebKit, Moz, or O. Um, vendor prefixes, but I'm just going to leave this as transition for now. So let's give this a width of 50% and increase this. You can see that as I increase that and decrease it, we have this lovely smooth motion as we do so. So now that we've got that sorted, let's create the text inside of it. Remember, we give this a class of bar fill text. So how is this going to look? Well, very, very simple. We're going to say color. We want this to be white. And we're going to give this a padding of three pixels. Let's go ahead and just add some text in there. So let's say 
go ahead and refresh. So there's the text. Let's go ahead and change the actual bar fill to 40%. And there we are. So that's how it looks with the progress bar in place. We can go ahead and control the width of this with JavaScript later on. But for now, that's the design of the progress bar.